A moment ago you said you told Mary not to bring any biscuits. That's right. And she was clear on what you said? Of course. Any chance Mary could have ignored you? <sighs> not a chance. Any chance she forgot about it? Oh no, sure she's as sharp as a box of knives. Any chance she left your house and thought that old woman's got it wrong? Not a chance. When Mary spoke to the rest of the girls and told them not to bring biscuits, any chance they ignored her? Have you ever been on the PTA? No. Sure that's just a load of old bored housewomen sitting around thinking they are something. Have you ever been on the committee of a council? Sure that's just a load of old busybodies wanting into everybody else's business. Have you ever put your life in another woman's hands and asked her to put hers in yours? In m and at peak time when there's only one table left in the cafe? Sure you know I never go out to see it, eh? We listen to each other, Mill. We listen to each other to avoid misunderstanding. It's that simple. Are we clear? Aye, whatever, Sadie. Are we clear? Aye, Sadie, keep your knickers on. Just one more question before I go in and ask the rest of the girls what happened. If you told the girls not to bring biscuits, and you all listened to each other, how come there's biscuits in my kitchen? How come one of the girls found it necessary to bring them? Maybe your mind's going, Mill. Uh, are you sure you didn't buy them? Now you're changing your story. You said you told them under no circumstances to bring any biscuits. That's right. You said you told them not to. And I said, under any circumstances? And you I said, know what oh, I, said. I can have the court reporter write it back for you if you want. What are you on about? Like, I know what I said. You don't have to keep going on about it. Then why is there a pack of biscuits, Sadie? Sometimes the girls think it's a nice idea anyway. No, Sadie. You made it clear that the girls never go against you. That you all listen to each other to avoid any misunderstandings. So there should be any biscuits in this house. Should there be, Sadie? Ah, go away and fuck yourself, Mildred. What's going on in here? Piss off, Mary. Right, so if Mary told the girls not to buy biscuits, why in Lord Jesus' name is there biscuits in the kitchen, Sadie? Mary told the girls to get biscuits, didn't she? Because that's what you told Mary to tell the girls to do. What is going on in here? Piss off, Mary. And when you saw my reaction to the biscuits, you shit yourself. And now you're lying to my face, trying to make out that my head's gone or something. You two give it over. Sadie, did you buy the biscuits? All right, well, I'm away. Cheerio. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. truth. Oh, you can't handle the truth. Oh, Mel, we live in a world where there's tea and coffee mornings. And those mornings need biscuits. So who's going to supply the biscuits? You? Mary? Oh, I have a greater responsibility than you could ever possibly imagine. And you weep. That there's too many biscuits and you curse the girls. Well, you have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. That having too many biscuits is tragic. Keeps the girls dipping hands going for weeks. In my opinion, that no amount of biscuit is too much. Why well, grotesque and incomprehensible to you keeps biscuits in people's hands at all times. You don't want the truth. Because deep down in places that you don't talk about at the WI, you want me to bring biscuits. You need me to bring biscuits. We buy biscuits like shortbread. Tea cakes, and then ones with a caramel in the middle. <sighs> we buy these biscuits because we like Friday, and we don't want to spend our mornings dipping 
plain rich teas. And you turn your nose up at them. So, I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a woman that reuses her toilet paper and then turns down the chance for a nice Gary Baldy to tip in her tea. So I would much rather you just made the tea and shut the fuck up. Otherwise I suggest you pick up a nice biscuit and dip it in your tea and enjoy. Cause either way, I don't give a flan fuck what you think, Mildred. Did you bring the biscuits? I just told him that. To... Did you bring the biscuits? Uh, of course I brought the biscuits. Well, I just want to say thank you because this biscuit really compliments this tea. Oh, well, Mildred, you're, you're welcome. I, I, I thought you'd like the biscuits. <laughs>